Hey everyone, it's Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. We're going to finish off with Psalm 84 today in the New International Version, verses 10 through 12, and they are amazing verses. But before we get to that, let me tell you what we're going to be doing over the next three months. Now we've been going verse by verse through several different uh, chapters of the Bible, but for the next three months, September, October, and November, um, in light of the fact that I'll be releasing a book called The Seven Deadly Friends. Uh, that will be the sponsor of the next three months. I'm going to be highlighting all of the verses or nearly all of the verses that are found in that book. And these are all relational verses. So I'm going to be praying for your relationships, your broken relationships. Maybe you don't have that, but I have a hunch that all of us have at least one in our lives. And so we're going to be praying through all these amazing relational verses starting tomorrow, um, starting September 1st. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that and uh, how exciting that that will, uh, that will be. And um, anyway, so thank you so much for listening. And let's go to Psalm 84, verses 10 through 12 in the NIV. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk, whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, better is one day in your courts and in your presence than a thousand elsewhere. Lord, we love you and we need your presence. We're lost without your presence. We're lost without your voice. We're lost without knowing that you're with us. So please be near today. Please be close. And for those who have experienced the farness of God, of you being far away, Lord, help us to know how, what we can do to become close. A lot of times, Lord, that's, that's just confessing our sins and letting you know that we're sorry for what we've done or how we've been running our lives without you. Um, or placing ourselves on the throne of our lives, or, or sitting in the, in the driver's seat, however, whatever metaphor we want to use. Instead, we want you to drive the car, we want you to sit on the throne, we want you to be the center of our lives, we want you to call the shots. Let's use all the cliches I can think of right now. But Lord, we want to be close to you. We want to dwell with you, and we thank you that your spirit will never leave us will never forsake us, will never run away from us, will never go to the other ends of the earth. We also thank you that our sins are removed as far as the east is from the west. So we stand today in a beautiful place of your presence. Um, thank you that you are a sun and a shield. A sun, the sun provides light and warmth and um, everything that we can see is because of the sun. It sheds such beautiful light and scatters darkness. So you are the one who scatters darkness. And we pray today that your holy light would shine upon us and show and expose places where we have relied on ourselves, places where we have trusted in ourselves so that we could confess our sins and be right with you. You are also a shield. You protect us. You protect us from um, people who would want to hurt us. You protect us from the lies of the enemy. You protect us from warfare. You are so good. You bestow favor, Lord, and, and I cannot understand that. We are your created. You are the creator. We are the pot. You are the potter. And yet you bestow favor upon us. You have favored us. You have loved us. And um, I'm just almost speechless about that, Lord. So thank you. And you have bestowed honor. You have... Um, every one of us bear the weight of your glory. We are image bearers of you, and because we are image bearers of you, we have honor, we have weight, we have your glory in our lives. And Lord, as we learn what it means to walk blamelessly, to walk in light of your forgiveness, um, help us to believe the fact that you reward those who seek you, that you do not withhold those good things, that you shower us with good things. Um, and we read that in James, that all good and perfect gift comes from you. And so we trust you for that. 
And Lord, the end of this psalm is blessed is the one who trusts in you. And Lord, we want that kind of blessing. And we choose today to trust in you, even if we can't see it, even if we're confused, even if we're hurting, we make that decisive choice to trust your hand, to trust your way, to trust your leading, to trust your goodness, to trust your love. We choose to trust you, Jesus. And I pray this in your beautiful name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a blessing to me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to these prayers. You are beloved of God and rest in that beautiful truth today.